Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know about that. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode. I'm in the middle of Ensenada in Baja, California. It's about two, two or three hours south of the border. I'm at my friend Raul's house still and him and his wife Carolyn have been nice enough. To, oh, watch out kitty. Watch out. Him and his wife Carolyn have been nice enough to take me in for the last few days um, and let me hang out in their driveway and camp. They bought me a couple lunches and I mean, I've returned the favor a few times, but today I'm gonna make them some seafood paella. One thing about Ensenada is there's a lot of seafood available here in the markets and there's a very large seafood market we're gonna go check out right now. Um, paella, we need chorizo, we need shrimps. We need a lot of different types of foods which I don't have right now. So Raul and I are heading out to the market, the black market, right? Oh yeah, fresh seafood, the best ever. I'm excited. I am Fishermen are, they come in yeah. like five, six in the morning with fresh fish every day. I'm excited. I haven't seen a, uh, a seafood market in a long time, if, if ever. So. Mercado Negro in Spanish. Mercado Negro? Mercado Negro. Mercado Negro. Okay. You can get anything you want. Lobster, shrimps, abalone, mussels. All type of fish from the Pacific. Well, we're gonna cool. be, we're gonna eat all those today in a paella. Have you ever there had you seafood paella? Oh yeah, yeah. We have a, actually a, a huge event every year, the paella weekend. Okay. There is all these restaurants that they get together in mm -hmm. uh, the wine country mm -hmm. in a beautiful natural environment, okay. and they compete. It's a contest. Oh really? There's a competition. 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 Yeah. That's, that's, what, that's French. I just said French. Yeah, yeah you said French. <laughs> because the paella is a Spanish dish. Well, hey, if I make a good one tonight, maybe I can go there in my truck and compete. Exactly, you can do that, <laughs> you can compete. What do you want to hear, Cesar? The spatula, the spatula. That's it. Okay, thank you. All right, we got a new utensil to make paella. Yeah. Spatula. Oh, it's stinky. Octopus. There's a lot of shrimp in here. These are clams. These, These are, are clams. clams. These ones are clams. These are the mussels. So, do they? Do you think they have still have mussels in the shell somewhere? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah those are better. That's perfect. We need a pound. It's the baby clam, the baby small clam. Yeah, that's what we want. Gracias. Oh, no, no. Shrimp. How do you say it? Cam Camarón? Camarón. Medio? Medio? Medio kilo of jumbo Camarón. Vieja? And then what kind of meat is this I've been seeing around? Stingray. Stingray? Okay. Look at that type of plant. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Look at these. Meja chiluda. Meja chalula. Chalua? Chalua. Chalua. Yes. Pick it up? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like put my hand in there man, and grab it? Man, man, don't oh, right there. Oh, man. man. They sh they're not sharp? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you're just showing off. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I don't know about that. That was breading. I should get some of this and try it later. What's your name? Maverick. Maverick? Maverick. Yeah. Yeah. Maverick como de... Unbranded bull? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's, the, what's the word for it? Ore? Orejano. Orejano. Gracias. Sale, sale. All right, so in our bag, we got mussels, we've got clams in the shell, we've got some smoked tuna, and some shrimp, some jumbo shrimp. So we're gonna go make some paella, but first we gotta go grab some, some ingredients. Some other market, ingredients, right? yeah, some other ingredients, yeah. The, the watch market? El Roble. Roble. It's a, it's a really cool market that they sell all like a natural, uh, organic product. Okay, a Roble.
like that. I think we got saffron. Oh, on the S? Oh, good. Yeah. Bien. Muy bien. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Not now. No. Not right now. It, it'll take an hour. We're back at the house now. We're uh, it's been about an hour. Had the seafood and everything sitting in my fridge. Good. It's pretty pretty full fridge there. Take our seafood out here. So I got our black bag of black market seafood. All right. Here's our veggies and stuff that we got at our market. Our fresh vegetables. I wish that every place had something like that. Not only was it fun, and did they have a lot of different things to try, but it was also educational. I don't know about those clams, though. I don't know how people can eat those. <laughs> if this video gets like 20,000 likes, I'll go buy one of those clams and eat it. But I said it, if it gets 20,000 likes, we'll do it. <laughs> First, we gotta prep our stuff. So, get some dishes out. Ooh, we got our saffron. Never really cooked with this stuff, and I can't remember. You gotta put it in water, I know. Saffron's weird. See those, like, threads? The frozen peas. Our rice. Flash chorizo. Alright, bell pepper. This is the first thing that's up to be served. Make sure we have clean hands is the most important step. I grab some Purell. All right. Now we're ready to cook. Got my bell peppers and my onion all chopped up. Um, I need to cook my chorizo. And then I also need to char some of my tomatoes and boil some water for saffron. All right, so we're gonna bring this to a boil. I'm gonna cook my sausages after I toast my tomatoes. orchestra going on out there. It's nice. Oh, it's beautiful. You can usually tell how good the dish is going to be by how much the dogs bark and how much garlic is in it. Alright, so paella uses a specific type of short grain rice, so that's what we got here. All right, so right now I'm just gonna stir it while it's dry. Just kind of get some of the grains of rice toasted here. And then I'm gonna do this for about five to six minutes. And then we're gonna add in our saffron stock. And just pretty much everything else. And we're using that wooden spoon that we got off the, the street earlier. Oh, nice lady. I think I'll have to pick up some new spoons too while I'm down here. All 
All right, so what's next is we're gonna let this simmer for about 15 minutes and we're not gonna stir it. We're not gonna touch it at all. We want that rice to get like kind of crispy on the bottom. So you can see we're getting it up to a simmer until all that stock's absorbed by the rice. And then we're gonna throw in our seafood and bada bing, bada boom. All right, while we're waiting, might as well unbox that beautiful seafood we got earlier. Look nice, huh? The muscles. You cooked them already? No. Mm, it's very elaborate. Uh huh. It's very elaborate. You have to like let the rice crisp in and everything. I'm gonna nestle seafood in the rice. I'm gonna go shell, pointing down like that. Generally, you do this in like a grill or an oven, and they have an oven inside, but I wanted the satisfaction of making the whole dish in my truck. So I got the Dutch oven, and I had some charcoal left over from my last Dutch oven meal. So there we go, we have an oven. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. That's gorgeous. Made in the truck. All right. What we're doing? Estoy bien. <laughs> Look at you! Wow! Wow! <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Lots of food for you. Hope and for you too. And for you too. Wow. Look at your food, chef. Oh, you are a chef. Mmm. The clam flavor is outstanding. Is it good? Oh, yeah. Well, thank mm -hmm. you very much for, uh, you know, taking me under your wing for the last few days. Oh, you're oh it's been a pleasure. Time. It's been a pleasure, okay? It's been a pleasure. Mm -hmm. Perfect dinner. Those Dutch ovens are great. Yeah, I love them. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you can taste that saffron. Yeah. It's a strong flavor, huh? Yeah, yeah. Let's look at it. All right. It turned out awesome. Like, oh, it did. It very, did. very good. So now we can go on business here with a restaurant for paella. Yeah. All right, we did a pretty good number on all that. We ate all the seafood. There's just some rice left over. Thank you very much. Got some tea. I think, uh, I think I put a little bit too much saffron in there, but I won't tell you too much about that. It was, a, it was a great meal. Great meal with pretty all right company. <laughs> <laughs> Super great meal. Glad you guys liked it. Thank you. Thank Thanks. You very much. Yeah. It was, so good. it was fun to share a, share a dinner. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was good. Thank you. You're very welcome. Good night. Yeah, have a good night. Great meal. Thank you. You're, you're very welcome. Okay. It felt really good to be able to... Um, say thanks in the best way that i know possible with food to raul and carolyn so thank you guys too for tuning in i really appreciate the support that i've been getting lately it feels uh feels great to be down here and exploring a new country so hopefully you guys have been enjoying the content until next time just keep on trucking